Hey guys, Josh Bain Tech, and I want to show you a ROM review for the Google Play Edition for the HTC One M8. This is the Verizon variant. This is one of the ROMs that I was really looking forward to installing because I really like stock Android, and this is definitely a stock Android experience. It's everything Google, everything that you want Google that's involved with the ROM. But what's really nice about this ROM is that it includes some of the HTC features as well. So it doesn't necessarily just completely go Google Play Edition, but it definitely has everything that has to offer plus some HTC Sense kind of things. One of the features that stayed with the HTC One M8 is the double tap on the screen to wake it. And sometimes it takes about a couple of tries for me. Seems like on this ROM, I'm not really sure if it took me a couple of tries on just the stock, but that's one of the features that stuck around. So I really like that. I actually ended up using it more than I thought I would. So Let's start from the beginning. On a lock screen, you got your Google Play Edition. Like, it's everything Google Play Edition. If you've seen one of these ROMs before, it's really not much different except for the few HTC things that kind of stuck around. So here on the lock screen, it's just your typical Google lock screen. To unlock it, you just kind of just swipe it around the area there. Or you have the option to swipe up, and you got the Google Now options. Or you have the camera, which you can swipe from the right-hand side of the screen to the center and you can access your camera that way. There's not really much else except for that camera option there. So let's go ahead and just kind of look around the ROM and I'll show you the home screens to start off with. You have the Google Now launcher. So if you swipe over to the left-hand side, you got Google Now and you got all your cards here. Swipe over here. This is the stock. I haven't adjusted anything. This is what comes on the ROM once you load it. So you, on every home screen, you're going to have your Google search bar up here. You can also so, say Google. Say Google. Yeah, I'm a little bit away from the microphone, so it's going to have a little bit more difficulty picking my voice up. But as you can see here, it is actually picking up my voice. Not really that accurate, but I'm standing away from the microphone anyways. So as we continue to look around, you're going to see these icons here. You have a static bar down here that kind of, you can change these around. You can take them off or add different ones if you want to, or you can install Nova Launcher and have more options. But you also get a folder full of Google apps and then you also have your Play Store here. You do get your stock Android navigation bar down here, which I like that a lot. That's really cool. I like that a lot better than what HTC has. I just kind of like the look of it better. And you also get the Nexus 5 wallpaper. All right, so next let's take a look at the like navigation bar area. When you swipe down, you're gonna get the stock look. You have to tap over here to get to everything else. Your profile, brightness settings, Wi-Fi, your data connection, battery life, airplane mode, Bluetooth, and also your location. If you swipe with two fingers, you're gonna get all those options at once. But if you just do once, you're just gonna get any kind of cards that are up here or you'll have to tap here to get to all those other tiles. So let's go into our settings, and you can do that by swiping here, get your settings right there. These settings should look pretty familiar to you because it's just gonna be stock Android again. So you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, you can select more, get airplane mode, and you can read down here, it's nothing too much different. There's also motion launch gestures that you can go with, double tap, swipe to unlock, volume buttons. If we go to our sound, this is one of the HTC things that stuck around, which is boom sound. So that was really comforting to know that that is still there. And this is gonna be where you're gonna change all your ringtones and so forth. So I'm not gonna go through all these options. If you're familiar with your stock Android or any of the kind of stuff, that's pretty much the same setup. There's not much else that's different. We'll go to about phone, show you that. It is HTC One M8 model number, Android version 4.4.2. And the build number shows you what the ROM is, which is build number digital high h g p e all right so here is the app drawer and it's again it's your swiping pages kind of set up and what's nice about this is that it's deep loaded the only verizon stuff here is the standalone apps that the google play store loaded once i got this going and that was another thing i liked about this rom was that it loaded all my apps without me having to restore my titanium backup. So I really like that a lot. Some other neat features that this ROM comes with is Exposed Installer. And I'm a fan of Exposed Framework, so that's really cool that's already installed. If you're not familiar with Exposed Framework, it's really cool stuff. You can go in there, almost make your own kind of ROM. Really nice stuff. And I'll leave a link in the description of my series and playlist of Exposed Framework. Another really cool feature that this ROM comes with is Gravity Box, which is another Exposed Framework module. 
it has a lot of options. It's where you can go in and change like center clock, circle battery. You can change how your layout look. You can go in there and change colors. You can change a lot of different stuff, really customize the entire experience of the phone. The last thing I want to talk about is the camera. And unfortunately, it's the worst thing about this ROM. It's really laggy. And let me show you what I mean. So when you open it up, it's not that fast. And then it doesn't help when you have a finger in the way, but look how slow it is to react. It's like really bad. It's the Google camera that comes from the Play Store, so it's kind of frustrating that this doesn't work. I used the camera a lot, so this is a deal breaker for me. So until it actually gets fixed, I'm gonna have to load another ROM. The camera, like I said, is from Google Play. It's that version, but it's just very laggy. It's not very responsive, very slow. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing that the camera sucks, but hopefully it gets fixed really soon and then I'll start probably using this as a daily driver. Well, this has been a review about the Google Play Edition ROM for the HTC One M8 on the Verizon network. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that that camera gets fixed real soon because this is one of those go-to ROMs that I really liked and I hope that I can rock it out pretty soon, but I'm gonna have to find something else in the meantime. If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can see more videos like this.